الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على إمام الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد قال الله تعالى يا أيها النبي جاهد الكفار والمنافقين واغلظ عليهم ومأوهم جهنم وبئس المصير ثم قال يريدون ليرفعوا نور الله بأفواههم والله متم نوره ولو كره الكافرون ثم قال من يطيع الرسول فقد أطاع الله Brothers and sisters, today the 7th of January, 2015, we have seen an outrage in Paris, a mass killing of people. There is a problem. This is a, a reaction for an action. So what was the action? The action was the insulting of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The problem in the West is that their system is lopsided and it is biased. Therefore, whenever you insult a black man, they say you are racist. If you call a black man a nigger, they say you are racist and you'll be fired from your job and your career will be in ruins. If you call an Asian person a paki, they say you are preaching bigotry and you'll be fired from your job as well. If you insult a Jew, you are anti-Semitic. If you insult a Buddhist or a Hindu, they say you are intolerant. If you insult a homosexual, a lesbian, they say you are homophobic and you are frowned upon. However, if you insult Muhammad, they say this is called freedom of speech. You are free to insult Muhammad in the name of freedom of speech. And even if you make a movie insulting Jesus or Moses, they say freedom of the press, you are allowed to insult holy things like Jesus, Muhammad, or Moses in the name of freedom of speech. The problem with the West is that Westerners, whether it's Europeans or other, others, they are spiritually empty, morally bankrupt, and ethically perverse. So they like to insult holy things with impunity and immunity. In a country which is spiritually enlightened, they would not dare to insult Jesus or Muhammad, a Muslim country. But in the West, where people are spiritually empty, morally bankrupt, and ethically perverse, for them to insult holy things, it is considered trivial. Uh, white folks like to insult people in the name of white supremacy. They think that they should be able to insult others in the name of pride, arrogance, and haughtiness. Therefore, the white culture is that they like to insult others in the name of white supremacy. They picked on Muhammad, they used cartoons to insult Muhammad. I say to them, when you picked on Muhammad, you went too far. Not everyone can cope with an insult. Not everyone is bighayrat. Not everyone is without honor. Muslims cannot cope when you insult Allah or you insult Muhammad. Now, some men can cope with an affair as well. If you, ins if you have an affair with their wives, they'll kill their wives, kill the lover, and then turn the gun on themselves. When you insult Muhammad, you insult Allah. When you insult Muhammad, you are guilty of insulting one and a half billion Muslims. Today you have seen an outrage in France. It means that the infidels have barked the wrong tree. And this is a strong message to the infidels that you need to stop insulting Muhammad because if you don't, things will forever escalate. I'll say this and I'll say forgiveness for myself and for you.